angry guy here, and men are fed up with women. Men are fed up with women. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Nothing lasts forever. Modern women have pushed us in a direction where there's really no coming back for them in Western society. They have basically jumped the shark. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. They don't like us. Because if they treated us with respect, kindness, praise, dignity then we would say, okay, well, those are people that care about us. They don't like us. They don't care about us. They just tell us what, you know, what they want from us and what we need to provide. And it's all about me, 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 me. They tell lies on us. They use us just for our resources to extract wealth and resources from us and take advantage of us. If you look at the kinds of videos that are coming out now, they're just absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and jump into the first video. All right, guys, so we've got to talk about this interesting story from this doctor who apparently is not able to attract a spouse. OK, apparently she's having some difficulties in the single dating market and she's going to be going ahead and outlining some of her dates. Take a look. Even though I was against it, I was like, let me just try it. So this guy, he also was a surgery resident. He was a little bit higher up. I said we went on a date and everything like that. And you know, we were vibing, you know, it was a good time, right? Until he asked me, you know, he was like, oh, what made you become a surgeon? Like, what made you decide to become a surgeon? I was like, you know, I really like it. I was like, I really love being hands-on and just went into my whole, whole spiel about why I wanted to be a surgeon. And he essentially was like, if I decide to marry a doctor, he was like, I prefer them to be family medicine or a dermatologist because I don't believe that a woman should be working more than a man or as much as a man. I was like, okay, um, I don't even think I said anything. I think I was just like, okay, that's good for you. Anyway, I just stopped talking to him. I was like, now guys, I want to point this out. If you marry a woman, you want the woman to be a woman. You want her to be in her feminine. This woman is not in her feminine. This woman is deeply in her masculine. How can you have a relationship where both people are surgeons? And they are working around the clock. During the early years of a child's life, it is important to have their mother there. Women don't even want to be present for their children. They don't want to be present for their children. They don't want to raise their children. She wants to work these crazy long hours, whatever she feels like it, as a surgeon, and then go to the streets, hang out in the streets, and live whatever life she wants to live as a married woman. I mean, what kind of family is that? She is so deep into her masculine that she feels like she's coming into the relationship as an equal. So she'll so she'll do what she wants to do in a relationship. She's basically a woman, but she's um she's basically like taking on a mask. She's a mask. She's taking on a, an outright masculine role. Like, this is a masculine role, a very masculine, a very masculine person. It's, I mean, it's one thing if you say, like, okay, well, you know, my husband, like, for example, Mayumi's husband, I talk about Mayumi a lot. You guys should know who Mayumi is. She's a physician, a physician, pediatrician. But those are decisions that have to be made between, you know, your husband, like, her husband, her husband you know, is he 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 has a security company. However, they're, they're, when they started off, their life was not easy. And you know, he worked hard. He worked jobs that you know did not really complement his skill sets, starting out, so that she could focus on her career as a pediatrician. But it was a decision that they made, and it, she said that it was difficult. But they have a bunch of children. They have a new, you know, they now have a new daughter that they've adopted and it's like you know you have there has to be give and take i remember hearing from mayumi i think it was on christmas day and she said that she was with the other women the men were asleep and the men and the boys were asleep and uh she was like 4 a.m or 5 a.m 
and she was up with the other women, like preparing food in the kitchen. And they were so happy to do this. And this is it. This is just it's kind of like you know, this is versus this woman who seems to think that she's going to be in a relationship with someone where there she's not going to cook, she's not going to clean, she's not going to be present. She she'll come and go whenever she feels like it. She's not going to raise these kids because she's definitely going to have to have a nanny to take care of these kids. So basically, there's going to have to be some Jamaican lady in the house, Jamaican or Hispanic lady in the house, you know, raising the children because she's not raising these kids. You know, they're going to have to have a cook, someone to cook and cook for them and clean for them because she's not raising these kids. She doesn't cook and she doesn't clean. You know, and they have to, and they, and you know, She's like, you know, she is a surgeon. So obviously they, they have to live in a million dollar property. Now keep in mind, she was fortunate that she was even able to get a date with a surgeon. Yes, she is a surgeon herself, but she doesn't comprehend that men don't care about your status. A man will happily marry a woman who works at McDonald's if she is kind. Like literally, he will 100% take away, like, these women don't get it. They literally don't understand that men are not attracted to this masculine energy. And her money is her money. His money is her money. Her money is her money. So his, so her, his, her money does not do anything for him. The fact that she's a doctor doesn't do anything for him. In fact, he basically says her career choice, her, you know, her, you know, her specialty, her specialty, it creates problems in the relationship. And it's like, who does she like? She wants a person who is better than her. She wants to be with a surgeon, but then at the same time, she doesn't want to be present in a relationship. So she wants to, she wants to basically, and break continue on with with this masculine role, pushing this masculine energy. As a doctor, it's becoming weird. I was dating this guy, right? We were dating for a little bit. That guy felt deep down he was competing with me. I don't know why I just felt like that. Anyway, this situation that happened kind of sealed the deal. So me and him, we were having a conversation, just a casual conversation. He was telling me about this story, how like this family went to like different doctors, like, you know, trying to figure out what's going on, but no one could figure it out. And it's one doctor ended up figuring out what was going on. He just came out and was like, you know, most doctors are dumb. Taken back, I was like, what are you saying? He was like, yeah, most doctors are dumb. He was like, you know, a lot of them don't take their job seriously. Just going on a rant. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, that's your opinion. You know, I'm not really entertaining it much. And then he started to say, like, you know, if I wanted to be a doctor, I could be a doctor. It's like, it's not hard. Like, I, could, I can be a doctor. It was so weird. Um. Anyway, I ended up, you know, eventually stopped talking to him. But I don't know what's up with these guys. I don't know if I necessarily believe this story, to be honest with you guys. Uh, you know, man or woman, I think it's an accomplishment to be a doctor because give or take, it's about 10 years. Plus you have to get ongoing training and things of that nature. So it's, it's kind of like this ongoing thing. So I think that in itself is an accomplishment and it's pretty impressive. Now, I don't know if he was necessarily making fun of you per se. I mean, it is a possibility, but I could see more of a realistic scenario where perhaps y'all were probably jostling back and forth maybe you threw your degrees or you know mentioned how educated you are and perhaps he took a jab he was probably poking fun at you and said you know your degrees your diploma you know that ain't nothing now as far as men in general in regards to getting with a woman and building a legacy chances are you're gonna want to have your woman at home okay you're gonna want to have your woman at home or if she is working at least have some family time where she's able to be home at a reasonable time. You gotta understand with these doctors and nurses and people in the medical field, you know, they are on the clock 24 seven. A lot of them are on call. They're gonna have to drop everything and attend to work. Now, apparently this is a hot topic when it comes to women in the medical field, okay? Apparently she's not the only one that's having difficulties finding a partner take a look you know what i find really interesting about medical school that nobody ever told me or medicine in general as a woman your dating pool gets significantly smaller as a man 
oh my god they're so lucky their dating pool multiplies and i just think that is so interesting and when i've talked about this with all my female friends in medical school we're all kind of on the same page as long as he has a good career and he likes his job and he works hard at it like we don't really care what they do but a lot of men are completely turned off by the idea that we're gonna make more money than them which is bizarre to me like we're gonna be a team why wouldn't you be happy that we're making a lot of money that's better for us and i think a lot of men think that women will exclude them for not having a certain degree of education or not making enough money and i'm sure there are women like that that exist but most women in medicine that i've met just want a supportive partner who encourages their passions it would actually be better for me not to be with someone who's a doctor we'd have a more balanced life and the schedules would be easier to work around just an interesting thought that i've noticed amongst all my friends let me tell you all right now this is a chameleon bruh Listen to me, y'all. This is a chameleon right here. This is a 100% chameleon. I'm telling y'all right now, this is a chameleon. This is a chameleon. This, guys, listen to me. This is a chameleon. This is a chameleon. It would be better to be able to, you know, my money is, it's not, my money is your money, and your money is my money. We're a team. Uh, it, uh, personally, I would rather be with a guy who's not even a dog. Y'all, this is a chameleon. This is a chameleon. Holy cow, guys. It has started. Oh. I, I didn't see this coming. B br boys, I did not see this one coming. I didn't see this one coming. Not this soon. Holy cow. My goodness gracious. So, so this is this is what they're really on right now. So basically, they know exactly. What, she's full of crap. She knows exactly how women treat men. She's a woman. She knows that, you know, women naturally want a man that makes more money than they do and will provide for them and protect them. But she's basically realizing that her dating pool is now shrinking to the point where men are just excluding. The average guy will no longer date a woman who is a doctor. So, you know, it just, so her options are shrinking rapidly. And so now she's like, okay, so now basically it's better something than anything. Guys, do you remember, guys, it talks about it in the Bible. Forgive me, forget, forgive me for not remembering the passage, but it says in the Bible that like the days will come where a woman, where multiple women will cling to one man and they will say that let me that we will we will like provide our own bread and, and our own our own food and everything else. Just let us take out take your name. <laughs> Just let us take your name and wipe away our shame. All right. And I, I, I totally butchered it, but you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This is what's happening here, y'all. Oh my gosh. Y'all stay off the street. These are some real chameleons. Oh my goodness. There you have it. These career driven women are having difficulties finding a man. Okay. In my opinion, there's only two scenarios for these types of women. First option is going to be a guy in their career. Okay. Somebody that understands their schedule, understands kind of the industry, so to speak, and kind of gets that they're not necessarily going to be available at all times. Okay. That's the first scenario. The second scenario is going to be a guy that doesn't necessarily make the same amount of money, but has the time to kind of pump into the relationship. So pretty much being a cheerleader to what they have going on, taking the responsibility of cooking, cleaning, looking after the kids, their hype man, so to speak, in regards to them getting to that next level when it comes to their career. The guys that they want, Okay. The high value guys, the productive guys. Um, yeah, they're not going to be okay with being in that situation. Okay. They're going to want to be the head of the house. They're going to want to have their significant other home, home, taking care of the children, cooking and cleaning, and kind of taking on the role of being that feminine woman. Okay. A woman in medicine, chances are she's going to be in her masculine frame as she's maneuvering throughout work, okay? Because she's in a position of authority. People are constantly looking up to her. She needs to uh, insert herself and be dominant and be reassuring when she's dealing with her clients. So that automatically puts her in a masculine position. Guys, we all have to, we need to be careful as men. Because these women, these women are getting desperate out here. As going on take a look during my second year of med school we had one professor 
tell us that finding a partner is going to be significantly easier for the men in our class than the women. Now, she was married, but I definitely see what she was talking about. Being a woman in medicine, I am not a traditional girl to date by any means. Like when me and my boyfriend first started dating, we were having like check-in text messages maybe once or twice a week. We were seeing each other maybe once a month. Like my schedule was absolutely insane. It got better. And as we knew each other more, I was willing to make more time to spend with him and to go on dates and that kind of stuff um but yeah i'm not someone who's constantly going to be like calling you texting you able to hang out it's a very different dynamic dating a woman in medicine it also takes a whole hell of a lot to impress me like doing the basics like having a job like you need to have a job and i'm not impressed by your job because i know i'll be able to take care of myself so it's really more so like who you are at the core as a person like do you have morals do you have integrity are you responsible are you accountable are you a god-fearing man do i think you're funny like that's actually very high on the list like do we actually have chemistry can we have a real conversation guys these women are this is like no one in their right mind would want to be in a relationship with this woman no one like listen to what she said she says you know i'm going to be a doctor so I don't have time for, I don't, you know, if I, I'll make time for you, if I, if I, if I decide that you're worth my time, but you know, I'm going to be very busy and I don't care about you. You have to have a job, but I don't care about your job because, you know, I'm a doctor. That like, guys, who says something like that? So she wants a high value man. She, she wants a man who makes more money than she does. However, she wants to make it very clear that it doesn't matter how much money he makes, she's still a doctor. So, hey, you know, she's she's high value. She will always be high value and maybe an, an even higher value than him. So he needs to have all of these things if he wants to date her and be in a relationship with her. And don't expect to hear from her very often. Y'all, this and be a God-fearing man. Guys, if you're in a relationship with a woman who is your girlfriend, like, this is your girlfriend, and you're only going on a date with her once a month? You're only seeing her once a month? You only speak to her maybe once or twice a week? You guys are in a committed relationship, and you basically do not hear from her almost at all? Something is wrong with that. This woman is so deep in her masculine. She's not looking like, I don't know, y'all. And these women, they don't seem to comprehend. Like you saw the other, you saw the other, the other, the chameleon from the, like the chameleon. She was smart. She's like, okay, so this is what's happening out here. All right, bet. I'm going to go and get myself one of these idiots. Like, you know, like, like, like this is literally, it's something for the Bible. Like she's like, she's smarter than the average bear. She realizes the writing is on the wall. The average woman cannot is, is having a hard time landing a man a man right now that'll actually marry them 98 percent of men are no longer married so this woman these so you know this woman looks like she might have she might be like middle eastern part middle eastern maybe so maybe she has some like cultural values that are like all right she sees the writing on the wall most of these other women they still think they can have whatever they like and it's just not going to happen like that they'll push me to be better despite me you know being this career woman, whatever, blah, 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 super successful, da, da, da. Like, I still want someone who pushes me and motivates me. So it's different and it definitely intimidates a lot of people. Communication, planning ahead, and flexibility. My schedule varies week to week. So I, at the beginning of the month, I go ahead and tell my boyfriend like what weekends I'm gonna have off. Does he always remember? No, but I at least say like, these are the weekends I'm free if we wanna go ahead and plan something. So planning ahead is also important. Also in line with communication is being very open, honest, and vulnerable about your feelings. Um, especially when you're like burnt out or stressed about work so that your partner doesn't think that it's them. Because a lot of times when I come home from the hospital, I'm in a terrible mood and I don't want to see or talk to anyone. 
Um, but living with my boyfriend, I've had to learn that, you know, number one, I don't need to take out my work stress on him, but also when I'm on a more stressful rotation, letting him know I'm feeling really anxious right now. I'm feeling really stressed out. I'm sad, like whatever it is. As far as being flexible, we do not have a conventional relationship by any means. Sometimes he has to go to big events without me um, because of how crazy my schedule is. And we don't try to explain that to anyone else. I really don't care if anyone else understands. So think about this, guys. When a man comes home, he wants peace. This woman will not give that to him. She is always deeply in her masculine. So she comes home like a man. And she's in a bad mood. She let him know in advance sometimes that she, listen, I'm not in a good mood. She's constantly coming home in a bad mood. So basically, think about being in a relationship with this woman where you can't even have a bad day. You have no one to talk to. I mean, she does not bring you peace. You're just like basically just like, I'm trying to look for the right word. You're just kind of like sitting in a corner and hoping not to upset her. And even though you are living with her, You'll barely, see, you'll see her here and there. She'll come and go as she pleases. And you have to live your life around her schedule. It's obvious that this woman does not cook. Obvious is that this woman does not clean. And she believes that she is like the end all be all. She's the best. She's the alpha, the omega. Like she thinks she is a god. So like she has, she has a complex. Like she is in her masculine and it's like, what, are you looking for a, what, a feminine woman? Like, what kind of relationship is this? I don't know how, like, this guy, he must be desperate to put up with something like this. He probably will just eventually leave her. The way that we do, I work a lot. <laughs> and so, um, as long as you guys are being flexible with each other, I think that that is all that you can do. All right, guys, so there you have it. I mean, listen, if it's working out for her, uh, more power to her, but you know, a guy, a productive guy, competent guy, guy looking to build a legacy. I don't know if this is necessarily the ideal situation. I think when women get into these particular industries, it simply disqualifies um, you know, a lot of guys from wanting to be in this potential situation. Okay. Because these high value guys are going to look for women that are available. All of these, all of these Kings are just going to go overseas. Like I told you right now, the passport Kings, it's a trend, but trends become normalities and normalities become traditions 10 years from now. Within seven to ten years, within ten years, it will be a normality for a man to go overseas and find himself a wife. You know, even boys to like have their little girlfriend overseas and go, you know, and when it's spring break or summer break or whatever, or Christmas break, dad better figure that dad better figure that S out so they can go see his girlfriend overseas. You know, he's been doing well in school, he's been studying, been getting B's and A's. You know, so dad needs to come with the come with that cash. We we'll take him overseas, and so you see his little girlfriend. And if they smash, they smash. And I'm just being real. I'm just being very honest with you. That's how it's going to end up being. Because what's the alternative? Allowing your son to mess around with any of these girls in America, in Western society. Like I, I, I I've said this already. Parent, like these parents are going to have to save up money to take their sons overseas. You know, hopefully maybe, maybe they'll like say, okay, kid, you know, how about the Dominican Republic? They like somewhere a little bit closer, you know, although the Philippines is, is looking really good right now or Eastern European countries. All right. So they can go find some little Slavic girl, but that's just, that's really what it is. Like dad's going to have to really save up those freaking fly, flyer miles. Because the kids are gonna want to get together, hang out, spend time together. Like this is like we're heading, we're heading more and more towards kind of like an arranged marriage situation. Because like you know, the girl is gonna have to be pre-screened, the family is gonna have to be screened, you know, background checks are gonna have to be done. This is the world that women have put us in in Western society, because no man in their right mind is gonna be getting into a relationship with them. Keep in mind, 45% of all women between the ages of 25 and 44 
come 2030, we'll be single, childless and single, childless and single, all right? Which means that most of these women, most women in the United States will actually be single, but a lot of them will have had children from, from Tyrone, Chad, Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Little Poncho. Little Poncho has so many kids at this point because they love Little Poncho. They love Little Poncho. But that's just the reality. Guys, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Nothing lasts forever. If you're enjoying the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications. So never miss another video ever again. Men are fed up with women. What do you guys think about this? Let me know, and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.